What's up everybody? Brian here with another episode of Fishing Control. We are on our way out to the beach and because of that I'm not going to waste a lot of time. Just know I know I haven't been on the channel in a while. It's been a while since I've done some stuff. Uh, I haven't been out to the beach in almost two months but we're going to get into that. I'm here to catch some bait first or at least try and we're going to get out to the beach and I'll talk to you all more. I don't want to waste too much time so we're going to get to it. All right, so we're mostly keeping it simple for bait today, but I did want to see if I could get something over here at the creek because it's low tide. So I took some of my shrimp, peeled a few of them, mashed a couple up even, and uh, we're going to toss that out. And we'll try right at the edge there probably. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll toss it out there and pull it up so it's like right at the edge of the water there. See if we can get some, uh, some more shrimp, live shrimp or minnows or something. We'll just see what happens. Now it's a rescue operation. <laughs> well, I'm glad that worked. Always check your line that's tied to your trap before you chuck it out there, I guess. That's good advice, probably. Sounds, sounds like it now. Okay, trap is set. Now we wait a few minutes. Well, I'm pretty sure there's some minnows in it at the very least. Looks like there might be quite a lot in it. Let's, let's have a look. Sorry, I didn't feel like busting out the tripod yet. mud minnows a few mud minnows and some shrimp yeah we'll save these and use them at the beach 
but we're gonna go straight to the beach. We're not gonna stop and try and get water on these guys. We're just gonna get straight to the beach. I'm gonna go ahead and pour them in the bait cooler I got, but yeah. All right, we are set out up here, out on the beach. It's been raining off and on. There's some rain still right there out on the horizon. It should move past us, hopefully. Um, I don't think it's gonna rain anymore while we're out here, but if it does, I have my little umbrella with us. We can get under it. The big thing is this morning, there was lightning storms, so we didn't come out this morning. We might go out tomorrow morning because there's not gonna be lightning storms. I don't like lightning storms. They kill people. Uh, so uh, I got one rig set up to go ahead and put one of these mud minnows we got out on it. Uh, I'm gonna do that. This guy here, going on this guy here. Obviously the primo bait right now would be some finger mullet, but I didn't catch any finger mullet. I need to get a new cast net is really what's going on with that. But just gonna go up through the face like that, put this dude out way the heckin' far out there. <clears throat> Probably just on the cart for the moment. We're gonna get some rod holders set up here though. Don't fall over, minnow bucket. out this mud minnow a little bit try and get a little more zang on him this water's pretty cold pretty turned up very muddy murky all right so we got a nice little sprinkle going on right now uh, I'm finally getting my third setup out, which is the noodle rod, which by the way, that's a Shakespeare tiger. What is this, a freaking eight foot medium, eight to 15 pound, I really have 20 pound on it. Uh, designed for uh, probably smaller stuff than this. Think like freshwater cat rod or light action surf or something like that. But uh, I'm using it today for a double drop high-low with uh, the pompano floats on it. One solid pink, one pink white. With the ghost shrimp sand, uh, the ghost shrimp fish bites on it and a uh, piece of shrimp on both hooks. On, uh, I think those are one-aught circles, something like that. And I'm going for a, a medium good whip uh you know it's hard to say sometimes whether fish will be in close with this weather this rod's going for whatever whiting uh black drum whatever the heck bluefish whatever the heck i can get because um, i want to have something in the cooler whether even if it's just whiting that's fine uh, fish right here on this rod, on the noodle rod. Please don't be catfish. Catfish love this dirty water, so could be, but... Yeah, it's a little whiting. So now we have some cut bait, at least. That's a good sign. Some whiting is a good sign. Signs of life. Definitely putting him in the cooler for cut bait. If nothing else, for minnow trap bait. All right, so that's one fish in the cooler. 
gonna wade right back out there like I did, give it a little extra oomph because it's kind of hard to cast a four ounce uh, Hatteras Storm Sinker with the noodle rod. So you give it a little wade to help it out. Right on the top of that giant wave. Should be perfect. That's a real hit over here. That's a real hit over here. It's behaving a bit like a shark. Obviously we're hoping for a nice red, that would be great. But with head shakes like that, I don't think so. Cut whiting, coming in clutch for the big catch. Am I over? I'm over. What is it? is on 30 pound fluoro so I gotta be a little careful don't be so angry don't be so angry big run huge run playing right around my other line here too that would be really cool to move him away back over or under under over over oh my gosh This is a real fight, whatever this is. This is fun. Yeah, we're back. I think we're just gonna like give him a little bit and let him get clear of this other rod some more. He's working the right way already. Funny. This is a much smaller piece of cut whiting than the other rod has on it. Definitely gonna need a breather after this. It's funny that nobody's like stopped to watch yet. If you wanna run, you can run, bro. I'm giving you all the slack you need. I wanna land this. Okay, under. 
Yeah, there he is. There he is. I saw the tail. Is that a red? That's a bull red. It's a big red fish. It's a big old red fish. There he is. That's what we were out here to get. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Please. Absolutely. This was one. Sure, please. I'll go ahead and open the bale there. This is 100% what we were out here for today. Get one last look for the camera there. Quality, quality right here. <laughs> Would you mind uh, pointing this camera at me? And if you give me your email address, I'll send you one. Sure. There you go. I'm shooting video. Oh, shooting this one is? Okay, yeah, it's, it's already one. rolling. Just spin it around there. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no worries. Just gotta... There you go. <laughs> Got a lot of pictures of my shirt. Oh yeah. Ah, he's a little sandy now, but we're gonna right. get this fish on his way. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. All right, walk around. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, yeah it, it goes to sleep. Oh. That's all right. It, it was shooting the whole time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do you want the stills that I took? Holy cow, guys. So imagine if that had been on the noodle rod. Because that was on a smaller piece of cut bait. That was on a piece of cut bait that was the size of something I would totally put out on old noodle here. That was amazing. Those folks were so nice. That's a hit on noodle. little pompano. What the heck are you doing here, dude? If I was actually going for sharks, I'd keep you. But there's legit redfish out here right now, so we don't need a baby pompano. I don't know what happened to your gill, but that wasn't me. Hopefully you still grow up to be big and strong. Otherwise, I'm sure you will be food for something awesome along the way. Ah, shite. So I was just recording for a really long time and had no idea. Most of that is definitely useless. There was totally just a hit on this ride.